After all that we've been through, I still want to spend my life with you. Yes, I do. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Victoria here and today's video I want to talk to you guys and show you guys my wedding binder and all that I had in here and all the things that I look forward to seeing in the wedding and you guys too will see it once I drop the wedding video. But I'm here with my mother and my father. Yes, two important people that is making this wedding happen. And yeah, we was out here having lunch after sat after church. Came out here, enjoy the weather in the nice shaded tent to enjoy a Sabbath meal. So I decided to whip the camera out and show you guys my wedding binder. <laughs> well, I shouldn't get all the credit in this making this binder because my mother really was like the driving force in printing all of these papers to show me like visually what I wanted and how I should really envision it. Instead of just thinking it, she wanted me to see it really laid out in paper. So um, to begin, I want to share that I use this app called The Knot. And on The Knot, on the knot, it basically gives you a checklist of things that you may need in order to have a successful wedding. And as a backup, I use Zola to check this as well. How, how helpful did you find the checklist? Oh, Mom? very good. Uh, very, very helpful. Very good. Yeah. Like each day we would say, this is gonna be our goal for today. This will be our goal for today. And it gave us comfort and ease knowing that something was getting done, right, Mom? Yes. So, yeah. Um, so, let me just guide you through what I have in here. Did you want to stay or do you want to go? I just wanted to, I just wanted to introduce you. Yeah, yeah I can go. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, well, Mom's leaving. She has to go do her other business. But, I'm here with you guys. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. Right, my dad's helping there. <laughs> okay, so to begin, the checkoff starts off by saying like, celebrate your engagement and find a location, which is the venue and um, building your guest list, finding an officiant, makeup, hair, photography, videography, band, DJ, MCs. And it goes on and on <laughs> into what is key to building and having a successful wedding. So let me show you some pictures that I had in here that I thought were very beautiful and what I wanted. As my bouquet, I wanted it to be this. And as you see, it kind of has curls on it and pink, light pink and white roses, which I thought was so bomb because I love pearls and the lightness of it wouldn't conflict wouldn't conflict with my white dress you know I didn't want a flower that had bright colors I wanted really my dress to be the focal point and I also was looking forward to having drapes for Dante and I to stand under during the wedding ceremony but I don't know if this is happening just yet because I'm realizing it is a lot of money to have some drapes. Um, my sister and I was talking about maybe going to Home Depot and getting some pipes and then going to Duran's and getting some fabric to wrap it so I could have a drape. But I am two weeks out. <laughs> two weeks out. And I don't think my main focus should be drapes right now. So I'm gonna focus on other things that I find will be more important into having a, a successful wedding because it's okay for not standing on the drapes. And then another thing I found very, very beautiful was this table setting. And I got all these pictures off of Pinterest or even just a Google search. I thought this table setting was so cute, just white everywhere, little splashes of pink. 
and then this table setting of this golden pink because if i didn't share with you before like our wedding colors are gold and pink so we just want gold and pink flooded everywhere but actually there's gonna be splashes of gold and pink flooded everywhere and really just an ocean of white so yeah um that was table setting let's go into foods like food was like so important to me like to me i handled food and dante was the music guy like he's really the music head and had to get the right dj and um really knew that we both knew that food and music was two important things to have a successful wedding so he's handling the dj which we got done just this week can you believe it like three weeks out into the wedding and we just booked our DJ. <laughs> and actually I just solidified um, the menu with um, the wedding venue site. So we're, we're a little behind, but we still knew that things would get done. We still had faith knowing that God will have everything fall into place. And we really didn't have to worry too much because at the end of the day, as long as we have a venue site, me and him show up, like that's it. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is extra and fluff and all for just beauty really so another thing i loved is this donut this donut wall was so bomb to me this says holy matrimony do not leave me hanging a whole lot of love do not want this night to end i thought these were so cute to play on donuts because that is a bomb dessert. Like, who doesn't love a donut? I mean, I <laughs> I love them. Especially Krispy Kreme donuts glaze. Like, come on. Those are like, oh, oh no words. <laughs> so, so bear with me. This is a little like unorganized, but it's okay. And then for my bridesmaids, I have eight bridesmaids, one maid of honor, where they will all have the same bouquet. And I really wanted the bouquet to pop because they're dressed like a light champagne color. So I wanted the pop to be in the flower because I didn't want them to get like flushed out with the white surrounding. The champagne was like really close to the ivory white um, color side. So I have this pink bouquet of um, garden roses and a flower called Ranunculus can't pronounce it you only know if i even nailed it oh i got close to it but i thought it was so pretty because um the way that it bloomed and the layers that the flower has i thought it brought a lot of texture to the room especially because it'll be standing to the front and i hope you guys see that once the wedding video drops you know and another flower piece was the centerpiece which was essential to have in the reception room and i'm gonna have it placed on the aisles of and i'm gonna have it placed in the aisles where everyone will be walking down so there'll be um like pillars maybe four two by two and these will be on top of the pillars hold on just drop my phone So yeah, one thing I loved about this was like the um, gems just falling down from it and like I personally will love like perhaps pearls because it will already be in my bouquet so might as well continue with that theme. So love, love, love it in a glass base, empty, um, it's a clean look. And if you'll see here, there's another backdrop, a floral backdrop that I was thinking of. But if you see here, like, in this vase, the flowers here, clear vase, empty, kind of like a floating flower. I barely even see where the flower's coming from. But yeah, obviously, if you're sitting down, you'll see that the vase is there. But, like, come entering the room looking, it's just like, whoa, where's all these floating flowers coming from? <laughs> well, that's my thought. I don't know if it'll be your thought. Anyways, let's carry on. And this is a whole bunch of cute stuff I thought was cute. Going back to desserts, like there was these favorites, not favorites, favors. Like if you see in that box, it's um like a little bottle, personal bottle label. You will have like Victorian Date, and then a strawberry covered chocolate 
um, well, strawberry dip in chocolate. And I thought that was so cute because the strawberry design was like a wedding dress. And then for the male, the strawberry design was like a tuxedo. So I thought it would be a very cute party favor to give, but let's see if that happens. Um, let's see what else is in this binder. Here I have the breakdown of the wedding ceremony. It starts at 4.30 and the violin, well the violin starts playing at 4.30, but the ceremony actually begins at 5. And I have the walk down breakthrough and then the opening remarks, addressing the couple and exchanging the vows. And you guys do not want to miss the exchangement of the vows. It's going to be popping. Like, it's going to be popping. If you know me, I'm extra. And on this day, I'm gonna be extra, extra. So, the vows is gonna be popping. Um, the ring exchange, that reminds me, I need to go get some engravements on Dante's um, ring. Hold on, is engagement, engravement even a word? Hey Siri, how do you spell engagement? Well, no, engravement, hold on. Hey Siri, how do you spell engravement? Okay, I don't know if engravement is a word. I'm gonna get Dante's rings engraved. Much better. And I'm, I'm still checking out. Still checking to see if that's even a word. Anyways, carrying on. Cause I have his ring, but on the inside, I want to have like a little personal message that's inside. Or most likely be a saying that we say all the time. And you'll see it. And it's so, it's a cute ring. It's so him. Um, polished, nice. Engraving, yeah, engraving isn't a word. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, what else? And then the kiss, pew, and we should be out of here by 4.30, let's see how that goes. Um, one thing I love about um, this ceremony is that Dante and I chose to do the painting ceremony. It's very similar to the sand ceremonies and a candle lighting ceremony. But the, but the painting ceremony will consist of painting and we will have our paint blend together, show the coming together, tying of us into one and i love it because it shows the creative side of us because i definitely love um doing something out of the box out of the ordinary and yeah like why not do a paint ceremony because you don't see that done often well maybe you have i t i just have it and that'll be a little dope okay carrying on we're out here it's ferocious Okay, so next is some more decorations. So, some like woodwork, you know, that says Caps Newman or Anne here. And then the welcome sign. I thought that was so cute. The acrylic theme is what I thought was so clean and classy. Because it's like woods, metals, paper. But because we've been going on with this royal theme, I thought like acrylic was like a clean royal look and so i'm gonna carry on that theme and have acrylic everywhere like signage everywhere which you will see okay carrying on carrying on what else is in here what else what else what else so i was thinking of having like white and pink petals on the floor already like even though we have the flower girl dropping down petals we um we thought it was best to also just have petals ready on the floor to create more of a beauty of a floral scene, you know. And it'll look very angelic and very light. So you shall see that too. What else is in here? I was thinking of a flower wall at one point as a photo area, but then I did I saw that flower walls are expensive. One. And if you don't want to do that, drop that expense, it's time consuming. Because then you gotta get the wall, then stick the flowers in. 
and you gotta make it full so you gotta get a lot of flowers and um the expense won't be as much as just purchasing the flower wall already done but it, it's took a whole lot of your time over you could have been doing something else so it kind of like bounces out but we decided not to go for the flower wall especially since the venue already has a flower wall i just want to be extra and have two flower walls <laughs> so that's not happening one's fine i'm okay with it what else what else what else there's some foods foods food, foods i just wanted good food and oh should i get into these wedding dresses though these dresses were beautiful oh i'm just getting love all over again i'm not even showing you guys okay so let me show you guys this one okay how am i gonna do this i'm gonna take you pick you up and take you to it okay this dress i thought was so beautiful look at that top and that lace just sexy and then i also thought this was sexy like this neckline and the lace and how it just falls down because one thing i wanted for my wedding dress well not one thing a couple of things so i wanted lace sexy lace and i wanted gems and i wanted a long sleeve and i wanted a long train so it was a whole thing that was like when i walked in there they're like what do you want well and ball gown five things whoops okay whenever i walk into a bridal shop like okay what are you looking for ball gown long sleeve lace um gems and shoes. long sleeves long train gems ball gown lace okay so my wedding dress has all of that in one. And the reason why I wanted that was because my mother's wedding dress had all of that. And I think my mom was so stunning in her wedding dress that I just wanted to like, like, kind of like do a side by side, like mother, daughter, like twinning in similar dresses. And obviously it won't be a duplicate because it's not the same dress, but kind of like a very similar type of feel showing. My mother got married in 1950, oh shoot, I don't know when my mom got married. But uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to do a side by side to show like mother daughter type of look and show how it's very similar and you know I thought I'll be cute. Um, let me show you some more dresses though. This was this dress made me fall in love with Demetrius. Um, so one day me and my sister went wedding dress shopping and we went to this bridal shop out here in Long Island called Lotus. And that day in Lotus, they were doing a truck show. I think it was called Truck Show Wedding Dresses. And the designer doing this truck show was Demetrius. But because I was on a budget, I did not look at that rack. I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to fall in love with this rack because this rack is skyrocket. So no thanks. And I kept it moving. But my sister, she was just like, oh, I'm just curious. Let me just look at it anyways. You know, so she looks and she finds this beautiful, beautiful Demetrius dress. And I tried it on and I fell in love with it. You see, this is, this is what I didn't want to happen because I knew they were expensive. Anyways, fell in love with it. I was like, gotta have it. And now I have a Demetrius dress. <laughs> when before I was just like, don't show me Demetrius. He doesn't know how to respect my pocket. <laughs> But I got the got Demetrius dress. God is good. Bless me with supportive family and allow me to afford this dress. So let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's carry carry on. Ah, this looks so royal. Look at this dress. So royal. I'm falling in love with all of these dresses all over again. I don't know how I made a decision, but I did. Cause all of these dresses in my book though, I wish I could just wear them all. I wish I could just wear them all. All of them. Can't. Wish I could. Shoot. Oh. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? So the rest of, the rest in this paper, 
um, they have little bridal shops that we had to go visit because this showed us all the bridal shops in Long Island. Like, it was a lot. And then, um, what else is in this binder? Shows us the florist, kind of all the flowers that we needed. We needed for all the centerpieces, all the tables for the bridesmaid, the bouquet for the bride, and the toss bouquet. Excuse me, um, the two mothers and maid of honor and the flower girls, like the little petals for the flower girls. So that was flowers, and I kind of like wrote out family roles for the bridal weekend. I try not to be a, a, a bridezilla, but obviously, I'm gonna come here and say I'm not a bridezilla. But my family can honestly like say if I was or wasn't. And so my family can say if I was or wasn't. But I wrote down their roles, like my sister's role, my mom's role, my dad's role. And I let everybody know this is what I'm expecting of you. And with deadlines and dates, I'll let them know when I wanted it. Because I thought that was wise so that I don't just throw things onto them one by one by one now they're like privy to everything from jump so now they can space their time out in their lives wisely to fit this in instead of me just like throwing it on them and say i need them asap now to know everything i want done with the deadline and they can make it happen if they see fit in their lives so then i went on the website went to see Mother and father bride duties for every parent to know. And then, maid of honor duties and bridesmaids duties. And it just goes on and on. I have like a list of people who came to the bridal shower and thank you cards I need to send out to everyone who showed. This binder is just full of, full, full, full of tips. The rest is just full of tips of like Google searches I've done and I thought like I needed to know. So, um, yeah, that concludes my binder display. But I really just want to take the time out and say like honestly, planning a wedding is hectic. Like hectic and it could have been better for me if I wasn't studying for the bar in February. So studying for the bar in February made wedding planning for me just be February, March, April, May, June. Give me four months to really plan for the wedding. But I am so blessed to have a supportive mother, supportive father, supportive brother and sister who really um, was there for me and like asked me like, be like, how can I help? What do you need done? And really stepped up and allowed everything to fall into place. And I am sure without a doubt that on the wedding day, no matter what goes wrong, I'm still gonna have a good time. I'm still gonna be blessed with everyone who shows and everything that does um, happen because it's not looking the bright side of things. And um, yeah, I really can't do this on my fam. So like all I believe really in days is like family to show up, God's willing, like um, Dante's family can fly in, nothing happens with flights and um, hotels and Airbnbs. Like all we really need is our family and our close friends and officiant and that's it. Like we're so blessed to even have the opportunity to have a wedding because a lot of money that is needed to put on a successful wedding. And I'm looking at this, it says have a $50,000 wedding on a $3,000 budget. That sure was us, man, because Dad and I both just came out of school. Like, he just finished his um, PhD program. I finished my um, JD law school program, and we are just now starting our lives in, um, looking for work and trying to be financially stable. So planning a wedding in the midst of trying to be financially stable was just like, what? Who does that? <laughs> but, like, I made a way and it's happening two weeks out. This week I was like really stressed out. I felt a little defeated. I felt like 
I was better than this. I felt like everything that I was doing, like it should have been done. Like V, you know better. Like why is everything being done last minute? Like that's not you. And I was beating myself up because I knew I was better than this. I was like getting transportation like three weeks out, booking DJs three weeks out, like things that should have been done. Just like I was just now accomplishing. And I, I reached out to a friend of mine who uh, got married last summer and she was like, it's natural, remember to take a time for yourself, go for a walk, go get a massage, relax, breathe, rusa. And I really need to hear those words because that's what I would have told my friend if I heard her going through it. But yet I couldn't give myself the advice to just take time for yourself, breathe, rusa. And that's what I did. And after that, like everything felt better like everything was going smoother I was checking things off like bing bang boom and it's just it's a wonderful experience nonetheless like I can say that I complained a lot complained in the, in the areas of like I don't know what to do I was conflicted with this company with this company and I didn't have money for this company when I loved them so I had to go for the second best company because they were affordable but like at the end of the day, I realized that each decision I made was for a reason. Like I know that I don't see it now, but I'm gonna look back and be like, I'm glad I went with them or I'm glad I chose this instead of that. Because you know, like I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And although I don't see it now, looking back maybe some years later, maybe that vendor needed that blessing <laughs> and not the other one. Or maybe what I wanted to do would have been a catastrophe and the day of the wedding it wouldn't have been what I expected and I would have been disappointed or something could have been wrong you know so I take everything that happened and I'm content and pleased with it because I know God will not let me have a wedding where I look back and feel um kind of like sad or displeased about what went down I feel like he's always gonna give me um, what my heart desires is to knock and you shall receive. And I've been asking God, just give me a wedding where everyone's happy. Give me a wedding where everyone's having a good time. Because honestly, wedding's not for the bride and groom. The wedding's for the family and the friends. So I'm just like, Lord, have let everyone have a good time. Like, forget me and Dante. We just want our friends and family who came out to celebrate this moment with us to have a good time. And yeah, Lord, like if you find fit, like let us have a good time too. <laughs> but we just wanted our friends to have a good time first. So, um, what else do I want to share with you guys? Yeah, like I just want to share anyone, any bride out there, well, soon to be bride out there, um, just enjoy the planning process because this is. Like one of the few times you're going to be planning a wedding. You're gonna have the opportunity to plan a wedding. So why not enjoy it? Like with your friends, with your family. Like I find myself um, always telling myself, like be, have a better attitude about this. Be positive about this. Because everyone who's around you is really seeking your best interest. They're coming around you because they wanna help you. So um, really just have a positive mindset and make this enjoyable. So like, every time I'm out playing my mom, I try to make it as enjoyable as I can. Even like with my sister, I try to make it as enjoyable as I can. And of course, we're gonna fight here and there about things that we, um, you know, just fight about naturally. It's just kind of like, all right, let's recover, get back on track. Because we got no time to be petty. We got no time to be in our feelings. Let's um, apologize, give each other, and move on. We're family, we need each other. Like. I'm not going to throw you on the wayside. So that's pretty much what I wanted to come on camera and say. Like show you guys this wedding bam, wedding um, binder. And show you guys that it really takes a village. Like I, I really couldn't do this without my mother and my sister and my father and my brother. Like, And the venue spot that is like supplying everything for us because Dante and I are like truly grateful for everyone who is like sticking their neck out and giving their time giving their energy to be there for us and celebrate with us and 
have this day be one to remember. And we want to be known as that fan member who had the best wedding of all time. Am I right, Kanye? <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm gonna see if i can do another video where i'm not just rambling but really have like major points that i want to mention i think i mentioned some few, few points hopefully those are helpful or maybe there's some a testimony i just need to share for somebody else but um that's about it thank you for watching this video and um yeah, that, he's not in this video at all. He's in DC. Um, and I'm in New York. That's what, what is gonna be happening. So I had to be out here to help plan. But that too should be in the later videos. He's coming down May 25th. And it's, and it's um, did I say May 25th? He's come back June 25th. And as you see, it is June 15th. So he should be here. Oh, 10 days. Woo. So yeah. So thanks for watching. And hope you guys are blessed. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you come here for Dante, maybe he'll be in the next video. So see that see you then. Alright. <laughs> Bye.